Zoo tour. Congratulations! Your job application for trainee at Kalamazoo City Zoo has been approved. Before you start your daily grind in this demanding but rewarding job, the administration would like you to take six photographs of the zoo's fabulous animals for a marketing brochure. But be quick. Printing takes time, and management cannot delay the brochure's production. Tour the zoo, identify the animals, and make sure the photos look fantastic. Welcome to the world of Zoo Empire. As this is your first assignment, we will slowly bring you up to speed and help familiarize you with the basic aspects of running your very own zoo. You can move the tutorial window anywhere on the screen by holding down the left mouse button on the box and dragging it around. Go ahead and give it a try, and then left click on the next button to proceed. You can also minimize the tutorial window by left clicking on the minimize button located on the upper right hand corner of the tutorial window. Go ahead and give it a try, and then left click on the next button to proceed. Hmm, it seems nothing is moving in your zoo. If the game is paused, then everything in your zoo will freeze in its current position until you left click on the resume game button. Left clicking the same button again will pause the game. To the right of the pause game, resume game toggle button are four speed bars. Clicking on these will accelerate the game speed. If you want the game to move at a faster pace, left click on these bars to increase the game's pace. The more bars you have highlighted, the faster the game's time will run. Left click on the resume game button to continue. Good. You can also rotate the camera by holding the right mouse button. To change the camera's perspective, hold the right mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Give it a try. Good. You can also zoom in or out by keeping both the Alt key and the right mouse button depressed. Very good. Now you have a solid understanding of how the camera works, and you can get to any location within the zoo. Let's move on, shall we? Notice the upper and lower toolbars on the screen. Mouse over each indicator and button for a second or so, and a context-sensitive help message will tell you about its function. Go ahead and familiarize yourself with these toolbars, and when you're ready, left-click on the Next button to continue. All right, then. Before we move on, let's review your scenario assignments by left-clicking on the Information Center button, followed by a left-click on the Goals button. Here you can see all the goals you need to meet before moving on to the next scenario. Main goals are essential to passing to the next scenario. Hold the left mouse button and drag the scroll bar to scroll down the list and review all your goals. When you are done reviewing your goals, left-click on the Next button to continue. As you can see, you need to take six photographs of your beloved animals. Therefore, let's see how to take photographs. First, close the Information Center. Whenever you left-click on the Photo button, a photograph will be taken and sent to your photo album. Go ahead and take two photos. Any two photos will do. Once you've taken the photos, left-click on the Photo Album button. If you do not transfer the photos you have taken to your collection, the photos will be deleted once you move on to another scenario or if you quit the game. Let's save these two photos you've taken by left-clicking on the Copy to Collection button for each photo you've taken. Very good! If you have some really great photos in your collection that you'd like to share with your friends, First, make sure that the photos are transferred to your collection. Then, left-click on the Collection button. 
You can then left click on the Generate Web Page button and a web page will be created for you to post online for all your friends to see. To view a photo, simply double left click on a thumbnail and the photo will be enlarged. To return to the thumbnail view, you can either double left click. The minimap is a great way to navigate around your zoo. You can left click anywhere on the minimap and the camera will go directly there. To the left of the minimap are five buttons. Starting from the top, we have the default map view, followed by the exhibit map view, visitor item map view, animal item map view, and finally, the water map view. Left clicking on any of these buttons will filter out all other items on the map. The plus and minus buttons on the bottom allow you to zoom in or zoom out of the minimap. Play around with the minimap until you get the hang of it. Then left click on the next button to continue. Another interface that will come in handy is the option menu, where you can adjust game settings, save your current game, load a previously saved game, quit to the main menu and start a new game, or quit to Windows, among others, which we will look into in upcoming tutorials. I'm sure you're eager to get your feet wet in your photo shooting assignment. Left click on the next button to continue. Let's recap what we've learned here before unleashing you in the zoo. You can change the game speed as well as pause and resume the game anytime. Move the cursor to the edges to scroll about the zoo. Right click and hold the button down and move the mouse left and right to rotate. Right click and hold the button down and move the mouse up and down to change the camera's perspective. Hold the Alt key down and keep the right mouse button down while moving the mouse up and down to zoom in and out. When in doubt, mouse over any indicator, display, or button and you will get context-sensitive help. Use the minimap to quickly go from one part of your zoo to another. Take photos using the photo button and organize your photo collection with the photo album. Remember to refer to your goals in the Information Center to review all your past and pending goals. Good luck. See you in your next assignment.